there, there was a gap in between my skin and the underwire and the tissue actually floated <gasps> out of my shirt. Oh. You saw? A male friend saw. And he had thought I used that tissue paper to the push stuff. out my boobs. Oh. I wanted to die. Hi, it's Hazel. Hey, Tizura. And I'm Jermaine. And welcome back to another episode of Clarity's Hash Podcast. <laughs> Girls, remember last time we used to talk about breast sizes. Oh, remember you, you try to measure our boob size? Oh, that was like <laughs> season one of Hush yes. Podcast. Yes. We've come a long way and I think our thoughts have changed. My yes, boob size now. is still the same. Really? It hasn't changed since season one. I don't does think it went down by in your life. I no think, la. No, it does. I think Hazel's has gotten bigger. Azura's really? are the same. Mine are smaller if not the same. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? No, I think, I think my boob size went down. Le. Really? As I lose weight, I think mm. like, wow, you oh. just lose the fats around your boobs. Area. Perhaps, mm. perhaps. But you know what? Like over the years, I have come to realise how important comfort is for me. Last time I used to wear bras with like underwires and stuff like that. Okay. But it's just gotten so uncomfortable, especially with all the long days that we have. Mm. Shoots, filming and radio. Like mm. we want to be in like an absolutely comfortable state when we do our radio shows. No, you know, like we always say like the best feeling ever is at the end of the day where you get to take it off. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you know, sometimes after I take off my bra, after a very long day, uh -huh. right? It's like I have ma yeah, oh. it's like I went to war or something and there's like scars all over and they're really red and angry and itchy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Underwires will be the death of me. Speaking of war, did you guys know how bras started about? Huh? Okay, during World War II, bras gained popularity because women were urged to stop wearing corsets because they had to conserve metal for the war. <laughs> it's insane. I never knew about this, you know? A corset has so much metal, metal in it. Right? Just and yeah. I would imagine it's shape. so uncomfortable. Right. Probably. Yeah, so when that happened, it led to an increase in bra usage because corset production decreased. And um, historically, the early forms of bras were made out of whale bone. As and in, wow! Real whale? I, ooh, I ooh. guess, I'm I, guessing I, like... I, whale, I <laughs> whale bone, that sounds like a very expensive bra. I don't know right. if, yeah, if we could afford that these days. Yeah, and it's like so not environmentally friendly. I Probably think. not, yeah. Yeah, and um, they were also not just whale bone, they were also made out of metal corsets. So like people back in like the um, 1800s, like female tennis players, they suffered a lot of discomfort due to this. And because of the sharp edges, there were, like what Jimmy mentioned, a lot of scars, a lot of blood stain attire <gasps> even yeah can you imagine like we're already so uncomfortable now yeah right? and then back then with all death by bra can hmm. you imagine that I, I i could not honestly but bras have come a long way right they are not just the fabric that covers your nipples from the world anymore yeah. <laughs> but they come in so many different shapes and sizes mm -hmm. just like the boobs themselves there's mm -hmm. sports bras there's bralettes there's you know wired bras wired wireless mm. bras sticky bras right. any kind of chicken bra. fillets exactly yeah. exactly I think bras is such a basic word but it has become such an important part of women's lives. What does a bra mean to you girls? <sighs> I wish we could all not wear them leh. Oh, you are team no bra. Huh? Free the titties. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know I was in Bali recently uh. and I walked about and I saw so many Caucasians just wearing like a tight top yeah. with no bras underneath. It's very normal, yeah. yeah when I was common. living in the States, right. nobody wore bras as yeah. often. Or they would wear bra tops, right? right. But not like traditional bras with the wires yeah. and all that. But back to the photo, I, I feel like I like the feeling of a bra because it holds my titties in place. So sometimes when I run, I don't feel like they're so loose and so unsupported. I kind of have an embarrassing story actually. Oh my Let's God, tell us. About not wearing a bra. Oh! And ever since then, I tried to wear a bra in this situation. So I was in the States, right? And like I said, nobody wears bras there. So I was like, ah, free the titty! Yeah! Don't wear a bra. So I was wearing this... Um, a uh, big t-shirt that had been cut into a tank top. Okay. And it was cut very low down the sides. Right. Right? It used so to I, be very trendy. Yes, yes. exactly. Uh -huh. So I went to get my nails done. I was in the salon and all that. And I was, you know, having the best time. And then this <laughs> Caucasian girl next to me, she turns to me and she said, Honey, you know, everyone can see your boobs, right? You know, they can all see your nipples. It's like coming out of your shirt. Oh. And I was like, ah! I was mortified. I was like, I didn't realize because obviously it's very big. Yeah. The mm. armholes are very big on the side, right? So from the front, you can't see, but from the side, you can see everything clearly. Exactly. It's so, a nip slip. Yeah, it was a major nip slip. Luckily, it was all women there. And ever since mm. then, I would at least wear like sort of like a bandeau or mm. like a, yeah, if I'm wearing something very revealing. Okay, my turn to share an embarrassing story. Okay. So uh, back when I was like 14 or 15, there was one time me and my friends went out to the beach to play. But 
at that point of time, I had just started wearing bras for a while, mm. right? And I was in this bra with this underwire that was honestly quite uncomfortable, especially the part in between the boobs, mm. the U shape, the W shape yeah. like underwire was really, really cutting into my skin. And uh, on the train, it had got so uncomfortable that I told myself I needed to fold a piece of tissue paper okay. and just slip it in between my skin and the underwire ah. just so I don't feel the cut so much. Like cushion. Yeah, just cushion it a bit. So I went to the toilet to do that. But guess what? When we got to the beach, we went in to play. We didn't change out to swimsuits. We just went in like that, like in my t-shirt and my shorts. And because of the water pressure, the, there was a gap in between my skin and the underwire and the tissue actually floated <gasps> out of my shirt. Oh. It was so incredibly embarrassing. Everyone saw? Because a male friend saw. Oh. And he had thought I used that tissue paper to the push stuff. out my boobs. Oh. I wanted to die. It was so embarrassing. But it's like, it's, what, it's water. Tissue and water. I, I know. Like, what was I thinking back then? You know? I mean, we weren't thinking, right? We were yeah. young. Yeah. We didn't know. It you don't so really know what to do, what works for you, you know, what mm -hmm. you should be trying out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of, my, uh, one of our PD actually has stories, right? Um, of embarrassing you know bra related moments <laughs> okay. this one i feel like i can kind of relate um she says this reminds me of my close friend from secondary school so this friend she's like a model right she's uh -huh. super okay. tall she's slender and all that so she decided to wear a baju kurong on racial harmony sexy day. she also decided to wear a push-up bra oh right to push up her boobs oh. because she wanted to impress her crush Oh. Like, we get that, sis. I get that. But the thing is that there was a lot of space between the bra cup and the boob. Because she's so petite in Yeah, yeah. In she's so life, slender, right? right? Mm -hmm. So there was... And, and it's very obvious. Oh. So you can see like a big hole. And she was trying to go impress her crush and walk classroom to classroom, but with a very big hole. Oh, <laughs> between no. her bra cup and her boob. You know... I was there once mm -hmm. wearing bras that were too big for me mm. and it's just, you know, it's just not worth it. It's so much more flattering right. to wear a bra that is fit mm. to your boobs even if you're from the itty bitty titty community. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So I used to sell bras, you guys know this, right? Oh yes. yes. And we always advise our customers to get the right fit because the last thing we want is for customers to like wear a t-shirt for example and you can see the gap ah. in between the, uh, the boobs. I don't actually cups. know what this gap looks like there. Because you have big boobs, babe. Wow. What a flex. God's favourite. No, no, no. <laughs> I've mentioned this before. It's not a great thing. Oh, uh, okay. I feel it's not a great thing. Okay. Um, I think everything you wear instantly looks a little bit more vulgar. You look fine today, though. Yeah, yeah you, I'm covered you up. You look like covered up. You yeah. look great. You look yeah. comfortable. Thank you, thank you. Oh, very comfortable, by right. the way. Yes. <laughs> um, someone says, I wore the wrong bra to gym class once. Oh. Right, so I didn't wear a sports bra that gives me enough coverage and support. And we were doing jump rope exercises. Oh, no. One bounce and my titty fell out. Oh, no. And my friend laughed and cried on the floor. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, here's another story that I can relate to. Yeah. This person, she says, was wearing a front snap bra, but snap broke. Oh. My hefty ladies came bustling, <gasps> noticeably out while I was interviewing someone. Oh god. To make the moment even sweeter, I had been wearing a white silk blend tee. So it was painfully more obvious. Oh man. Oh, My I'm heart so goes out sorry. to you. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. If you ever need a last minute, like if your like titties pop out and your bra broke and you need something to cover your nipples. Panty liner. We've covered this before. <laughs> Use Easy, it. Try it out. Cut up a panty liner, just stick it over your nipples. Yeah. It does work. Cut it into two. Yeah. Stick it on the TD. Try you and test it. Yes. Try yes. and test it. But or just get a bra without a clasp. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or without a front clasp mm -hmm. at least. Um, very recently actually I was out somewhere and then uh, one of my friends grabbed me and she was like, Babe, um, are you wearing like stickies? And did they drop off? Oh <gasps> there was one like lying in the back. <gasps> and I was like, No, I'm not wearing a bra today. And she was like, neither am I. And she was holding it at this point. Oh. And she was like, ah! <laughs> She thought it was yours. And then she picked it up for you. That's a good friend right there. Yeah. That's this a good friend keep, right there. Keep, keep, yeah, really. yeah, yeah. It's tough being a girl, man. I know. It, it's tough being a girl. I know. Yeah. But you know what I really love of late? Wireless bras. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know how some girls feel like wireless bras don't give you enough support. Mm. That's actually not true. Oh. What research has shown, with the right type of fabric and the right type of sizing, mm. they can still be supported. Can yeah, I just true. say that Hazy and I are wearing the same bra right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm wearing like an 
open collar top. I like how this looks. And it's Azura nice. is covered up and I am. your sisters look great, babe. But thank you, thank you. <laughs> because I'm very patchy right now. Half red, half tan, half white, half don't know what. So. Yeah, but there's no wire in this bra. There's no wire. So and comfy. It's like super, super comfy. And for women who likes to go to sleep wearing a bra because, you know, you feel more supported, I feel like wireless bras yeah. are the best option for you to consider. Yeah. So I wear them a lot, actually, because mm. as we all know, I wear a lot of like translucent and mesh. Correct, correct. So that's the, it looks, you know, it doesn't look like a bra bra. Yeah. It looks like... Aesthetic. Correct. I, I'm currently wearing this uh, bra top. I love so bra top. I have invested in so many bra tops over the years. Let me tell you what works and what doesn't. Okay. okay. The worst kind of bra tops are actually the ones with removable padding where you slot them mm. in and out of the hole. Mm. Because of so many reasons, when you put them in the wash, they get folded, they get crumpled right. and then it looks like your nene is so-so or something. Yeah, yeah, so-so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to say, like your boobs are crumpled, right? So it's that's bad in a way already. Okay, when that happens, yeah. take out the padding and like invert, ah. put it back in. It works. I think I've inverted it both sides oh, oh. <laughs> and worn it out. Okay. So the good thing about, you know, um, these this bra top that I'm wearing, right, is that the padding is kind of sewn into the top. Mm. So it gives you um, kind of mobility 360. So I can right. move any way and it doesn't, mm. it moves with me, you know? It moves with it you. It moves with <laughs> me. Yeah. No, you know what's so great about it? Yeah. That you can't see like the... The line. circle, the line, right. you know, wow, I hate exactly. it. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, and it's so comfy. So honestly, I would wear this all day, every day. Yeah, especially when we're just doing radio shifts and yeah. nothing else, right? And mm. they come in so many different like Colors. Uh, designs mm -mm. and cuts and all that to suit whatever it is that you're mm. going for. Mm. Mm. Okay, so here's the fun fact on the evolution of bras. Okay. Okay, Ooh. I feel like all women, it would be good to know this. So back in the 14th century, actually many women went braless under their dresses. But oh. if they were to play sports or go for outings, they wore cloth. So it's like similar to... Like a bind. They bind yeah, you. Oh. Just like wrapping it. The, the point of them doing this is to support and flatten their breasts. Mm. Oh. It's so weird because like women these days, we want to like showcase what we have, No, I right? guess so it's not like in the way or like bouncy, like when they're playing sports. Correct. Maybe correct. like support, more yeah. support. So it yeah. doesn't like really get in the way. Okay. Now we fast forward to the 16th century. This was when the corset was invented. Mm. And um, the purpose of corsets was of course to show your sisters rather than hide them. It's oh. like push it up. Yeah, it's become like a sexy thing. Mm. And it's also become like a fashion transition. Mm. True. Kind of thing. And like lower neckline gowns that highlighted the bust lines, you know, corsets would be like perfect for that. And then to the 90s, this is when the iconic bullet bra made its debut. Oh, um, I know. The one that goes really pointy. Yeah. I don't understand that. Madonna, is it? Yeah, uh, like Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn ah. Monroe. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't born at that time. I don't know how that's sexy, like, you know. But I think that trend will come back one day. Really? Oh, I feel so. You can make it come back, Hazy. Oh. Yeah, you wear it. Haven't Let me we try seen that trend. Like some celebs wear it like yeah. on stage. Yeah, I've seen Billie Eilish wear it on the cover of Vogue. Mm. It was like nice. a corset top. Mm. Uh, Katy Perry's worn it on stage. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think trends they come and go. Cone. Yeah. yeah. Cone bra. Conical Cone bra. Bras. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, and then we come to the modern day era, right? Uh -huh. The two thousands and the early twenty tens. There were so many new design options for mm. bras, every kind of bra. Um the padded bra, memory mm. foam became very popular for things like push up, Love. you know, like the wonder bra, water bra. Do you have you guys ever heard what of that? Is a water Sorry, bra? What, it's a what? It's water inside and then when you pump it up, it pushes out the boobies. <gasps> oh, you guys have never heard of the water bra? How do never. you pump it up? Put water inside? Put water inside. Oh, oh yeah. what but if it leaks? Yeah, it could. Oh it's like God. a water bit. like dating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just say I'm lactating. Um, but there are so many different kinds of bras made uh -huh. for like stage performances, mm. artists. Mm -hmm. But then come the roaring 20s, right? COVID pandemic hit. Everyone was at home. Mm. Everyone threw away their bras because nobody wanted to wear bras at home. Like even yeah, right. when you work from home, right, and you do Zoom, yeah, I can bet half of you guys weren't wearing a bra. Mm. Were Agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nah, wasn't. or a bra top, or just not traditional bras. Right. So a lot more, I do see like um, a movement of of kind of like bra tops or bras embedded into different outfits, like dresses. Yeah. Even yeah. I've seen yes. that. Yeah, padded stuff sells so well. Oh, padded tops, padded dresses. Like, this is a padded top. Mm. Right? So nice. Yeah. No, and the thing is, I think mm. with a lot of designs, especially like, you know, strappy ones, backless ones, some people, they don't really know how to navigate. Like, you uh -huh. know, what should I do if it's backless? What yeah. kind of thing should I be, you know, wearing and stuff like that? So a lot more people are creating like these fancy stuff with right. like padded bra tops. So like, don't you think 
Yeah, and the halter ones. And sometimes some bras you can wear as a normal bra, but you can also unclasp it and wear it as a cross back. So that it can suit like different types of outfits that you will be wearing. Mm. Yeah, so many different types of bras. Here's a fun fact. Do you girls know how often you have to replace your bras? <sighs> I'm, I'm sure. Or how we don't often do, it. do you replace your bras? Okay, based on my knowledge, back from when I was selling bras, you have to replace bras every six months to a year. That's correct. Oh, oh. yeah. Hey, I still remember that. But I think most people don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, my bra is fine. Because I have so many bras that I just wear them like once in a while. Yeah. And I don't find a need to replace them after one year because I've only worn them like for a couple times. I think usually we just get them replaced like when it feels loose or yeah. like, you know, it feels out of shape. Our, like, our PD, yeah. she mm. lives in wireless bras. Like she Love. loves them so much. Mm. I believe the, her favourite one is um, Uniqlo's 3D Hold. Mm. Yeah, so she's had that for a long time already. Even though you should really change your bras every <laughs> six months to a year. But it has accompanied her through pregnancy, mm. through breastfeeding and even now for her everyday. Are you wearing one today? Yes, she, she is. is. <laughs> I'm inclined to believe her because I heard like, you know, your boobs change when like you go through pregnancy. Right. And when you give birth and mm. like if she's stuck through with it, I'm inclined to believe. <laughs> I, I have a question to ask. How often do you guys wash your bras? <gasps> is it after every wear? One, two, three. No. 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 Should I feel bad for saying this? No, okay, okay. Only okay. Women if, I, if I've had a sweaty day, okay. uh, then, sure. then yes, for it's sure. going straight into the wash. Yeah. Because yeah. you it, take off and then your underboobs are sweating. Yeah, so what I do is I take my bra off and then I like kind of smell it on the inside. Like <laughs> if it smells fine, I just put it back in the closet. Ah! What? You put it back in the closet? Yeah, then I wear it again. What? Oh. Wait, what's wrong with that? Air it, love it. Yeah, you don't oh. air it. Huh? Air it where? I hang like, it outside like, like somewhere. What no, do you mean, like hang it in your room at least, you know, like... Oh, because the closet yeah, is like yeah, clean bras, right? You put them back together. Cool, cool. <laughs> no. Not judging bit. Not Okay, uh, <laughs> don't come into my closet. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's because I feel like every time I wash my, especially like wired bras, mm. they, they go, go out, out, of out of shape. So I try not to wash them with everywhere. But if it's um like bralettes, with no wires, you can sure. wash it all the time. Yeah. Because I can just, just wash it. toss it into the washing machine. Yeah. It's easy, yeah. yeah. In the but washer and dryer. For like wired bras, I do feel like you have to hand wash them to make sure that they keep their mm. shape. No, but bra tops I wash everywhere. Ah, uh, because it's more cloth. It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's not yeah. just the bra, I, right? I feel you. Our PD Mary actually mm -mm. hates wearing bras, so same as Azura. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah, she are you wearing bra today? Okay. Oh. Wait, what are you wearing? She's not wearing oh, a bra today. Okay. She's wearing a Uniqlo ah. camisole. Oh, that's so nice. You look great. Your your yeah. titties look great. <laughs> <laughs> your titties look great. No, your titties yes. look great. Um, so she doesn't like wearing bras, right? So she'll do anything like sticks, you know, stickers, mm, all this right. and that. Um, but just for sometimes she wears wireless bras because she, like if she's doing sports activities, mm. she doesn't want to carry a whole extra sports bra mm. in like her barang, you know, mm. it's like so many things to bring. So yeah, if you don't like wearing bras, then wear a bra top maybe. Yeah, that's great. And uh, we have another note from Pidi Min. Mm. Pity Min is someone who is very busty, mm. okay, like Azura. Yeah. So she needs bras with good support and are wireless. Ah. Okay. <laughs> she says, we are cancelling wired bras in this day and age. <laughs> yes. Age. Over the years, I've tried a few here and there, going to the stores and figuring out if you like the fit. A pro tip that she's learned is wear your shirt over the bra that you're trying to see how it looks like on you. Okay. This ensures that you feel good, you look good. Mm. You know, it's funny because I think now we're so used to like wireless uh -huh. bras, right? But I think the previous generation, they're not as receptive correct. to it. For example, my mom would never wear a wireless bra. What? Right. Really? I don't think she would. Oh. Like she's gotten so used to the kind of support that wired bras gives her. I think so. So like years ago, when I started wearing like wireless bras, and then my mother would be like, actually, what bra are you wearing? It's not giving you the support. Because to them, it has to be like pushed up. Oh, yeah, like, your, like nice. your, your boobies have to be like, right? And then, like, there'll be the nice shape in between here, you know? But real boobs, you know? They don't look that way. Yeah, they don't look like that. Like, some say hang a bit lower. Sometimes one goes left, one goes right. Correct. <laughs> <you know? laughs> like, They're they not look twins. Like, every, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They look every kind of way. Yes. Okay, so question. You're out of a date. Okay. Okay. What kind of bras would you wear? Would you wear the kind that, like, pushes your boobs up and gives it a nice shape? Or are you okay with wearing... Wireless bras, bralettes. A hundred percent. Is it a nice date? Like, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Okay. It could go somewhere you want it to. Maybe you could. Actually, I. Place. You know. <laughs> <laughs> she got sorry. She got sorry. <laughs> What's that laughter? Tell us. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so this is, <laughs> this is before I started dating my boyfriend, right? Okay. Okay, so like, this was like the early stages, right? So like, you know, you would go out on a night out and like, I'm wearing a sticky bra mm. because I'm wearing a kind of top that is like kind of backless. Yeah. So I need a sticky bra, right? Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you don't necessarily uh, foresee that anything will happen yes. after the night. Yes. But it does. Yes. Oh, and then I remember like in my, in my you know, half conscious state, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm wearing a sticky bra. It's not sexy to take off a chicken fillet off yeah. your boobs. Okay. Can you imagine that? And shik, yeah. shik. Oh, like, so you take it off, there's kind of like a sticky residue on your skin. Yeah, and I mean, I was yeah, down thinking about there. that. Yeah. So I take off the whole top and I try to pull the, the sticky thing together, oh, off, together off at the same time and I throw it on the floor, right? So she, he doesn't see it. So he, that's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> 10 minutes later, <gasps> as a joke, he walks back with the bra stuck on his forehead. Oh no! <laughs> he picked it up off the floor and he went, Piak! I would and love I like, to see that. At that moment, I was like, this is a man I, I can keep. <laughs> I was like, this man has a good sense of humor. You kept him, la, right? I kept him, la. it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so sometimes when you're going out, maybe a wireless bra is better. Right. If you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, of course, other than like comfort, confidence that we've mentioned, I feel like breathability is one oh, thing that yeah. is so underrated. Did you know that your boobs have to breathe as well? Guys, under boob sweat is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. It's like... Under boob sweat, like underneath your boobs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't this sweat. This is news much. to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is news to me as well because I don't sweat much. But I can imagine how much of a discomfort that you breathe. Mm. Yeah. Right. The fabric really helps it to breathe, especially with mm. chicken fillets. Your boobs can't yeah. breathe. That's why mm. they sweat. That's why they slide off like your friend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, correct. so sometimes you know, just just wear fabric mm. on yeah. your skin. Mm. Agree, agree. And um, the no digging or poking part, I absolutely oh. love it. Actually, right, I haven't had a wired bra in years. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, have la, but like, I don't wear them. They're just there for like occasions if you actually really need them. If I ever really... Yeah. Okay, ladies, you know, with so many bras we have today, what would you say is the worst issue that we have resolved? I actually am very happy that we have seamless bras now. Yeah. yeah, because it used to just be seamless thongs and panties, but yeah. nobody really made seamless bras when we were young. So yeah. it was very obvious, like under like a school uniform, under like a tight t-shirt. Yeah. But um, aside from bra tops, I'm very thankful for those. Um, there's a very good one from Uniqlo. It's the Arism one ah. that I've worn for years. Oh and my years. god, Jeremy was going to introduce that to me. Really? Yes. You know what I'm talking about. I know right? what you're talking yeah. about, and I live in that. Yes. It's so comfy, and I would I would recommend a hand wash it just so it right. retains its shape mm -hmm. but yeah i'm just thankful you know it's so comfy and you can't really see the line which is sometimes a bit thank ugly. you oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well what i really appreciate is that we are done with all the wires mm. the under wires the wires by the side when it comes yeah. to corsets stuff like that you know i think everyday comfort is of utmost importance actually um it's also health some experts mm. have suggested that wireless bras are better for your health because when you have the wire there right it can potentially cause issues like clogged ducts <gasps> um, oh. discomfort and like blood, blood flow. flow yeah blood, uh, blood flow sometimes is restricted yeah yeah especially if you get the wrong band size if you yeah. get it like way too, too tight, tight oh my gosh it's gonna hurt so much that's true yeah so like i said there's so many different kinds of bra tops these days and wireless bras that you can choose for any occasion they've got ones with sleeve uh, i believe uniqlo have the ones that are like a camisole like what pd mary is wearing yeah. today mm. they have things like this it's like a razor back but with a padding inside mm. and the wireless lace bras that you guys that are wearing, wearing yeah. so nice so so Thank nice you. you know it, yeah. it doesn't look like a bra bra you can wear it like a top exactly. you can wear it with a shirt like Casey. Yeah. you can do it like i do usually where i just throw on like a mesh top mm -hmm. and then it's like sexy <laughs> so i think i like this for my next date oh you have a date with who <laughs> can we sit in the back and like watch can we get a next table oh yeah exactly <laughs> okay you call us cannot <laughs> but anyway I'm wearing like a black lace bra today. I'm standing at 162 cm mm. and this is a size S for mm. me. It mm. fits perfectly. Actually, this is from Uniqlo. Yeah. yeah so I'm wearing the same one in nude. I love how like there's no pressure. No, and then under the my back boobs. is single. It's very yes. thin. Single clasp. It's the single, very oh. thin band. Mm. Oh, there's a hook. It's yeah, a class, yeah. so it's easier to wear. Correct. And Zura, you love mesh tops so much, right? Yes. I think this would be like the perfect. Ah, uh, no. Under your cream mesh top. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> okay, so final <laughs> thoughts, ladies. How does wearing a good bra affect your confidence? 
I think it makes you know when you talk about like clothes that have to be like mm. tailored or they fit well, you look more polished and pulled together. I think it starts with the inside. Yes. If the inside doesn't fit, Mm-mm. the outside you can see lah. Mm. 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 As the CEO of the Itty Bitty ITBC, mm. the Itty Titty Bitty Committee, <laughs> I just want you to know that it's okay if you know you can't wear a bra a push-up bra there are certain bras that you can't wear there are so many kinds th- these days and they they will fit you they will flatter you very well and as it's all about inner confidence it's not about how big your boobs are but it's about how you carry yourself yeah. when you walk into a room yeah and correct me if i'm wrong but i think we are done with the push-up eras yes i, I don't think know yeah. people still wear a lot of push-up bras these days back when i was selling bras double push-up bras were a thing the padding was like so thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you would immediately go from like a B to a D wow. if you had one that like up by two sizes. So I have a small confession. Tell us. You know, like I know people wear push up or like you want that cleavage line, like you push your boobs together. Can I tell you that sometimes I push my boobs apart? <gasps> How? That like, is such. How do you do that? You put something in the middle to spread them out. No, 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 no. You no, just no. push it to the side. Yeah, like push it to the side. Oh. Because I just find them looking so vulgar. Like, wow. I that, know the grass is always green on the other side. Yeah, that is a problem I wish I had. I know, but like, I don't think you do, babe. Like, sometimes, right? It's just like, imagine if something was sitting like this low, for example, and one, the line, like, fucking obvious, and like, it's whoop, and then the other one's a little more flat. Uh. Which one do people think is like more natural? No, like vulgar. You know, uh. like they'll think like, oh, you're not as as like showy as this one, but you're wearing the same thing. Uh. I don't think we should care about what people think. Correct. Like <laughs> your titties are your titties. <laughs> They're what you were born with. Mm-mm. They're what is stuck with you for the rest of your life. Free the boobies. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So just wear what suits you, what's comfortable for you, what you feel confident in, mm. and yeah. Yeah, and speaking from three women who, from the get-go, like, we love to work. We, we get out in the day and then we, we have, like, a full day of schedule all yeah. the way to nighttime. We think that, like, comfort is very important. Mm-hmm. At least for me. When yeah. I'm comfortable, I'm confident. That's right. So if you're curious to experience the comfort and the freedom of wireless bras or bra tops, like the ones that we are wearing today, mm-hmm. uh, our PDs actually secured an exclusive <gasps> Uniqlo coupon Yay! for you. Oh my gosh, we're so happy about this. Head to the description box, click on the link, submit your Uniqlo membership ID and you get a $10 coupon added to your account. Wow! And for our male harsh listeners, you can use the coupon as well. You can buy anything from Uniqlo. Take this $10 off, okay? Courtesy of Harsh Podcast. Hey, and for the male listeners, I think you guys will like this. I'm wearing cargo pants from Uniqlo. They look so good on you. They are so comfy and Mm. so flattering. I feel like the dudes would love it too. I'm stocking up after this, by the way. Yeah. (laughs) All right, with that, we hope you enjoyed this episode. I learned more things about brass, <laughs> like after reading the script for this episode, and I hope you did too. So if you want to understand more or you want to watch our previous episodes, feel free to follow us on Instagram at itsclarity.co. That's right, you can listen to us on Meet Listen, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Yes, and check us out on YouTube to see our very cute outfits yeah, that we're very wearing. Cute. All from Uniqlo today, so yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, we'll see you guys. Bye! Bye. So like, I know people push them together you want that line you want that hook uh-huh. I push him a butt hey, maybe no. you can try right okay. instead of wearing bra bras right okay. just wear a very relaxed bra mm. it's like the one that I recommended to you the yes. Aerism one ah the relaxed wireless bras exactly because mm. it kind of just lets your ladies hang oh right without really pushing them so together. it's also hook yeah <laughs> if not you can put a magnet here and then a magnet on your boobs and then it will <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>